we have this dashboard here that I've called Mr. Dashboard, but you can imagine there's some great measurements here, like, for example, how great option explicit is and why you should always use it. And then down below, I have this worksheet tab that I've named Dashboard. And the reason I've done that is because I'm going to actually do something with this worksheet in the code. So by default, it usually is sheet one. I've changed it. And then when I want to do something with this in the code, usually I have to do something like um, uh, reference that worksheet object. So I'll say worksheets. And then I'll put in dashboard, and you can make sure I spell it right. And that's going to expose um, the worksheet object to me. Um, so another way to do it is if I want to use Hungarian notation, you know, I'd create a yeah. worksheet object, something like that. Um, and, but essentially, it's the same concept. I'd have to use worksheets, or I can also use the sheets object. The other way to do it, um, to reference or at least get a hold of that object, is I can say sheet one. And the reason I know that sheet one works is if I look over here in my VBA project, I see there's something called dashboard. And to the left of it, it says sheet one. And this will expose to me the same way all the methods and properties that using the worksheets object and supplying the name would. Now, here's the thing. I don't really like either of these methods. Um, the first one requires you to create a uh, new object and instantiate it and assign a worksheet to it when it's not necessary. And then if I use sheet one, that doesn't tell me anything about the worksheet object itself. So what I want to do is I want to change this name where it says sheet one. And the way I can do that is first I need to be able to see the properties. And sometimes this window doesn't appear um, when you go right into the editor. If not, what you can do is you can go to view. Uh, um, uh, let's see here. I lost it for a second. What you want, what you want to do is you want to make sure you can go to view um, properties window. You know when you're talking, sometimes you forget what you're doing. Yeah. So you'll go to view properties window. I'll show that to you. I'm going to flip it off. Um, well, I guess it's already on. But yes, if you, the way you would flip it off is you would use it on the Excel spreadsheet, which um, it would move it off to there. But that's for another time. So basically, I want to change the name. So what I can do is I can look down here, and you see there's two actually two name properties. There's this name in parentheses, and then there's this name here. Now, if I change this name in the parentheses, I can say dashboard like that. And you see that it's updated up here. And now, whenever I want to use it later, I can just type in dashboard dot and then I can actually get exposure to those different methods. Now, why would I ever want to do this? Well, what's really cool about it is if I'm in another um, module or another uh, uh, sheet object or any of these things, um, I'll just say reset everything. I'm going to make a fake procedure up. And we're going to just use it here. I can say dashboard dot reset everything. You see that it showed up here. And now we see that this is semantically just better and more easily understood than um, the other method of using worksheets or just saying sheet one. Now, there's one last thing I want to point out to you where it gets really weird. Um, so if we go back to the properties, you see that we have this name. So the name refers to the caption. So I can change the caption in here if I want. And then we have the parentheses name, and that refers to the actual name. The only thing that's weird about this is this parentheses name, you'd think that this parentheses name would line up to this parentheses dashboard here, but it doesn't. So the name lines up to what's in parentheses, and the thing that is in parentheses lines up to the thing that's not in parentheses. So just remember that. Kind of a, a bizarre, a bizarre <laughs> thing, but it is what it is, as they say. So um, that is my tip. Remember to change that uh, worksheet name, not just the caption, but the actual name, and it makes it a lot easier to use in the code. So John, you Great had a tip. tip. Yeah, I have a few things to add to that tip because it's really good. I've always, well, I think that parentheses name is called the code name for this yeah. sheet. I don't know if that's real that's or probably I just right. that up somewhere. But the other advantage to that method is that you get IntelliSense when you oh, yeah. reference it. And maybe, I don't know if you mentioned that, I didn't hear you. But if you type worksheets and then put the name of the actual worksheet in double quotes and hit dot, you don't get the IntelliSense where you do if you use the code name. Mm -hmm. code name. So yeah, it's that's a that's a really great tip. And it also prevents little snafus if your end user changes the sheet name versus if you have the sheet name and yeah. like you have sheets and something in quotes. Yeah, so exactly. That yeah, that's a that's huge. Yeah. Yes, I have a module about that in the course.